Hey guys, welcome back to the design. Today I'm going to create a glassy icons like this. Uh, these icons are nowadays very famous and we have the facility to create these in FSD itself. So let's find out how to create this. Let's start with the simple shapes to create that cloud. Draw a circle, duplicate it or control D and make it small using shift key and move it to the right side. Then use the square shape and create a square and so just stretch it circle stretching both. Then select all together and make it add. So we created a simple cloud. Let's give a shape for border too and uh, rounded corner, rounded. Create a sun, a simple shape shuttle, the same like two, the border size. Yeah, we don't need the border here, and just to give a radiant color to match the sun. Let's try. A little dark orange to the arrow. Yeah, the orange we need a more. So we just increase the orange here. Dark orange, yeah. We just need a Okay, uh, this color is a little darker again. Yeah, I think it looks good for me. Okay, let's go with this. Just send it back or control uh, square bracket and make it back and duplicate it. Let's give the object blur and increase the amount of blur. Then select together, group it, control Z. Now with the cloud, so we need to change this with the background black. So we now have a blur the sun. Yeah. Here we increase the background color for like this and make the capacity. And before uh, that, I think now uh, we can make this object part the uh, outline stroke separate. So, what will happen? This fill will be separated and the border will be separated. So, the fill will give again with the background blur by the same amount of value and the border will. So we will change to white color and uh, object black. No, sorry, not object black, no black. Okay, now it looks like this. 
So what we have to do, we will change a little bit the background color for time being. And this one, the brightness we will reduce. There is no brightness now, only the blur is there. Opacity is zero, maybe we can increase the opacity. So for this opacity, we will change the fill to linear gradient. Let's make white and uh, white again. This white will reduce the opacity here and let's increase the opacity. So if we have a little bit gradient kind of in here with this blur effect. We make it the more blur effect so that's the new okay so this border now we have a background blur here mm. and even we can make a little bit the opacity So these two will make a group here and the sun separate group. Okay, all together we now make a um, shadow. We will just duplicate the cloud and change this to white. Right. Right. So the and set it back. Let's make this a little bit bigger so it covers to the left side of the area so it makes more smoother. I think that looks good, maybe a little bit reduce the opacity more. Yeah. Now let's try the same thing with the white background that looks appealing. Yes. So all together we will group this. I think this looks very clean and have a glassy icon and even this will be very good with the darker background as well see how it looks very clean let's do another one with the lightning in this case we'll remove this one That's for today. Hope you like the glass icon. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.